Hey everybody, welcome to Texas Chat. I'm Serge. I'm Rob. I'm Gen Z. I'm Gen X. And today we got another Halo fan animation we're gonna react to. So this one is uh, regarding Marvin Mobuto. Um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, but um, basically to give a quick explanation to Rob, um, Marvin Mobito, he is someone, uh, a, I think he's like a sergeant or staff sergeant, I forgot his exact rank. I can double check real quick, let's see. Staff sergeant, so he's a staff sergeant and his story is pretty significant. Um, do you remember when you played the library? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> In Halo Combat. Chaos. Well, yeah, complete chaos. Um, what's what's pretty interesting is um, in the books, Master Chief stumbles across his body and um, it's found on one of the upper levels of the library. And do you remember the uh, reason Sparky teleported Master Chief to the library? No, he, he needed a reclaimer to get the index for him. So that's why. But before, he, but um, the reclaimer he chose was Master Chief. But actually, before he stumbled across Master Chief, he chose a different reclaimer. Sergeant Johnson, uh, Staff Sergeant Marvin Mobito. <laughs> Mobito, okay. Yeah. We so, so basically, yeah. this other Marine was teleported. Um, and what's interesting is, uh, I think Master Chief found him on one of the upper floors of the library, which meant he made it in pretty deep, which was super impressive because Master Chief had a hell of a time getting to the library yeah, yeah it's it's like super deadly so him as an augmented super soldier spartan was having a hard time and somehow the staff sergeant marine who's just a normal marine was able to make it so Got far that far and th th that surprised master chief so much that it, it like made him like respect the marine and he even says some words in regards to the fallen marine hmm, okay. so we're actually gonna um before we jump into this reaction we're i'm gonna I have pulled up the pdf and we're gonna uh, go to that section of the book okay so let's check ready to check it out yeah all right, here we go. What's cool about the book is it follows the Master Chief's story as well as some other side stories, but also shows like follows Master Chief's story, which is what you're doing. Remember how you would have to like, go up to doors and then wait for Sparky to open the doors and you get rushed by flood. Mm -hmm. It's funny because in the book it also describes that whole process. So ready? Yeah. Let's go. So uh, the monitor darted ahead, leading him across a circular depression to another enormous door. Machinery whirred and the chief was forced to pause as the door started to part. Then he heard a clank, followed by a groan as the movement stopped. Please wait here, Sparky said, and promptly vanished. Just as the Master Chief pulled a fresh clip and rammed it home, dozens of red dots appeared on his threat indicator. He stood with his back to the door at, as what looked like a platoon of flood mm. forms prepared to rush him. Rather than simply open up on them and risk the possibility that he, they might roll him under, the Chief threw a grenade into their midst, and half his opponents went up in a single blast. It took a few minutes plus a few hundred rounds of ammo to put the rest of them down, but the Spartan managed to do so. That was when the machinery restarted, the doors opened, and the monitor reappeared, reappeared humming to himself, I am a genius. <laughs> Remember when you did? Yeah, always used to say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, he had moved through the new chamber, a high vaulted gallery, dimly lit with pools of gold-yellow light. For the first time since Spark had dragged him here, he had a moment of respite. So finally, like a moment of relief, right? Mm -hmm. uh, ever since entering the library, the Spartan's head had been on a swivel. Wave after wave of hostile creatures had attacked him from all sides. He popped a stim pack, downed a nutrient supplement, and gathered up his weapon. Time to move out. As he moved deeper into the library, he found a corpse, a human one. He stooped to examine the body. It wasn't pretty. The Marine's body was so mangled that even the flood couldn't make use of him. Mm -hmm. He lay at the center of a large bloodstained wrist uh, wrath by spent brass. Ah, three four three guilty spark peering down over the Spartan's shoulder. The other reclaimer. His mm -hmm. combat skin proved even less suitable than yours. The soldier looked o over, up over his shoulder. What do you mean? Is this a test rec rec reclaimer? The monitor seemed genuinely puzzled. I found him wandering through a structure on the other side of the ring and brought him to the same point where you started. Mm -hmm. The chief looked down at the body and marveled at the fact that anyone could make it that far. Even with his physical augmentation and the advantages of his armor, the Spartan was reaching the end of his endurance. He checked and found the letter next uh, dog tags and read the name Mobuto Marvin Staff Sergeant, followed by a service number. The chief put the tags away. I didn't know you, Sarge, but I sure as hell wish I had. You must have been one hardcore son of a bitch. It wasn't much as eulogies go, but he had hoped that uh, but he hoped that had Sergeant Marvin Mobuto been there to hear it, he would have approved. Mm -hmm. So and then it moves on to the rest of the book but i just wanted to show you this specific passage because it ties in directly to what the animation goes over okay so what, what do you think of that <laughs> yeah i want to see uh so we're going to go back to the clip that i was playing yep, yep. yeah i want to see that i'm going to show you the yeah. clip where i actually pointed out to you in the game where his body is so ready yeah there you go so this is the moment where i pointed out to you during your uh 
play in the library um in the library where it was upper level so one of something interesting yeah uh, in the books, I think on the third level of the library, which you are currently on, I think, right? Yeah. Um, on the third level, there's a special marine in the book that unfortunately ended up passing away, and that marine is around the corner. Ooh, I want to go see him. Yeah. Well, he's no longer recognizable. <laughs> oh, of course. But he he's a prominent character in the book. That's him. And he dropped something for you. <gasps> it's a med... Oh, I've been looking all over for this. Yeah, so... I think it was like Sergeant Marvin or something um, was wow. his name. So he fought his way all the way up here just to deliver you that medkit. Wow. So it's actually pretty inspiring because he was just a normal Marine. I remember like you telling this story. Spartan, mm -hmm. like you, right? Yeah. And he made it all the way up to the third the floor. third level. So on his own Fourth. as just a Marine. So. Wow. His head's gone. No, his head's there. It's just face down. It's kind of cool to find out all these. Um, oh, look at the spine. Yeah. I see what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. You were talking about the ribs earlier. Look at that. Yeah, there is. I think there's one we saw where it is like rib cage was exposed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, so I, that that um, is the scene where um, I pointed out to you. So what's interesting is uh, up until this this fan animation came out, um, I haven't seen this animation yet, so I'm really curious where it's gonna go, but. Uh, everything I just showed you is pretty much everything that is known about the character. So there's a brief uh, like passage in the book that references him, and then some game, some people found his body in the game. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily confirmed, but that's just what it, that's just kind of what it was accepted. It was like that's his body on that floor. Mm -hmm. um, but now um, this animation is called the Journey of Marvin Mobuto. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's what's cool about that is it's gonna, I think it's going to show him going through the library. Yep. Going through level one to three mm -hmm. to that point. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm super excited for this. Uh, this is what he wrote. This is a fan story slash adaptation of Staff Sergeant Marvin Mobuto. Disclaimer: I had I I take some minor artistic freedom in order for the story to move quickly. Mm -hmm. It's a tribute at the end of the day. So, yeah. Nice. So. Yeah. Let's play it. I want to see this. Yeah. Because I'm excited. Because like I said, there is before this there is. Like nothing, nothing except that little passage in the book, book we read. Yeah, so we don't we don't know his story. Yeah. And we don't see like him fighting or anything. We Master Chief only finds his mangled body and is only able to recognize him by the dog tags. Mm -hmm. And he, and the fact that he made it so far inspired uh, like it was impressive to Chief to the fact that he like even said some parting words. Yeah, <laughs> a little minor eulogy there. Yeah, yeah. So, ready to dive in? Yeah, I'm super excited. Push play. Let's do it. Spartan 117, that's Master Chief, but mm -hmm. I'm assuming we're going to be following Marvin, though. Looks like a body. Yeah. Lots of bodies. from the get-go great job with the music mm -hmm. good pick of this is a classic halo tune oh there's master chief pretty interesting i wonder if that was master chief taking the stim pack because in the passage we just read mm -hmm. he paused he'd like take that medicine and look at this it's just showing the body that must be the mangled body that belongs to him because this is and what i like here is like it's very it's paralleling the passage from the book mm -hmm. it's showing master chief taking the stim and then i'm assuming now we're looking at the body oh the other reclaimer his combat skin proved even less suitable than yours. What do you mean? Is this a test reclaimer? I found him wandering through a structure on the other side of the ring and brought him to the same point where you started. Pillar of Autumn. Wow, oh, we went way back. Alert, all hands. Boarding cars is on port deck at 4, 7, and 
Oh man, this is so cool. I think it. I think that, that was that Marvin walking. Let's see. Was that on the back of his helmet? I think it said Morbuto. Let's see. Like, it's kind of hard to make out. Is that? Yep. That's him, it right? Does. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be I the staff sergeant. B U T O. Yep, I can yep. make that out as well. So I think that, that this is him. But this is yeah. so cool because we get to see it on the on the pillar of autumn. Remember this? This was sort of the very the first very mission. beginning. All the yep. Marines are scrambling around. I wonder if we're gonna see Sergeant Johnson in this as well. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, you can all see his mask. Tango through X-ray, and six on the double. Now who's gonna save the human race genius? Are you with it? Oh, that's life pod pilot. Run away! Coming in boarding. Mm. I got them holding their ground. Oh, you see the medic trying to kill them. I guess that wasn't Marvin. Oh, this must be Marvin. Yep, yep I is. see on the helmet. Yep. Holding his ground. Oh, everyone's dying around him. Ooh, his legs. What happened over here? There's the medic. Let's do it! Covering fire! Hunters! Whoa! Oh! Do you see that? That is so neat. So you don't Spartans see... coming in? No, no, no. So here's the here's the, uh, Marvin, right? Mm -hmm. As we turn here and we pan the camera, remember Master Chief is the only Spartan on board um, at this point. What's so what's so neat here? You know what these are? ODSTs. ODSTs. Yeah. So in the books, there's ODSTs. But you don't ever see ODSTs in the uh, in the game. But in the book, there not, are. Yeah, not Halo CE. Mm -hmm. In Halo yeah. CE, you don't see it in the game at all. But in the book, they actually are ODSTs. There's, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of them, actually. So this is really neat because he kind of did his own uh, spin on it. He actually mm -hmm. brought in the ODSTs and he made his own like design. Because I don't, I don't think I've seen this ODST design before. It's kind of cool because it's like a blend of the Marine and an ODST. Hmm. So, ready to kiss you? Yeah. Good observation. Cut that! Are they gonna blow up the hunter? Yeah. Boom! Blew his arm off. Do you see that? Oh, Ooh, he's down. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Do you see how they took him down as well? They shot his arm cannon, and it blew up. The one that shoots the fire explosive shots, right? So. Aren't you glad you didn't fight hunters on the pillar bottom? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember seeing that. Let's go! Right? Yep. Let's get out of here! Look at that. Did you see that guy's face? Let's go! I think one of them got shot. Yeah. Let's get out of here! Yeah. Ooh. I wonder if that's Zuka Zemini from the book as well. Uh, so that wasn't uh, at the end there when you that wasn't a hunter that was an elite that was an elite that mm. stabbed that, that stabbed the corpse with an energy sword Zuka Zamanin uh, I'll explain to you more later probably but he was a stealth elite that stalked Master Chief throughout the game and was in he had his a personal goal to kill the chief okay so.
Huh, interesting. Is it landing in the snow? Bodies, it looks like, right? Oh, oh, shot that guy in the face. Yep. Oh, yeah. Stab that gun. Nice. Bam, right in the face. Anyone else still alive? Hmm. Even the pilot's dead. Grab me some ammunition. Supply. It must be freezing cold right now. So I'm, not, I'm assuming he's not outfitted for this. No. Maybe he is. Look, he made himself a campfire. Gonna nap. Blizzard. This is all happening on the Halo ring. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see his, his, him covered in snow? Completely. Look at that. Helps for camouflage at least, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. That's not a good sign. Level one. Installation 04. I am 343 guilty. Oh, it's, it's the same I message he told you. To uh oh, this I is where he gets your this is where he gets poured into the library. Yep. Oh no, here we go. The energy field above us contains the index. We must get up there. Yeah, better lock and look. That's how his body got there. 
I didn't know you, Sarge, but I sure as hell wish I had. You must have been one hardcore son of a bitch. <laughs> Need to hear straight from the book. Mm -hmm. For Heber. I'm assuming maybe it's the person who requested this. Mm. Or who came up with the idea of maybe you should animate this. Mm -hmm. Made in Blender. Interesting. 3D model, sound effects from Halo Combat Evolved. Yep, makes sense. Inspired Halo the Flood. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the book. The one we just... And it was... I really like how you, how he followed like the exact lines as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder how. He, oh, there we go. <laughs> so there, there's the end. This uh, guy was really good. Okay, I just have a request. Yeah. Make another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make another one. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, if if there's any other ones uh, that we should check out, um, either by this person or anyone else, any other fan animations you guys recommend, let us know. There's one uh, other fan animation, one that I have seen, which is uh, I'll just say. A keyword which is remember um, for those of you who know you know i'm not gonna show that one to rob yet because he needs to play halo reach first okay so yeah but, but you'll remember yeah I'll, I'll, play i will remember oh i'll definitely remember because okay. that is my favorite animation fan animation of all time not just a halo fan animation fan animation period of all time this guy um but th I, this one was but this one we, that we just watched yeah absolutely fantastic well, well, yeah outstanding job putting this together and and keeping the story just so spot on and true with the book mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That, that's something that i really really like is that he he said that he took some creative liberties like artistic i was liberties, just thinking that artistic liberties but honestly it was spot on mm -hmm. like the only the only artistic liberties i see is him adding in the other scenes that weren't in the book but that just added up built it up even more yeah because... it gave it gave it more meaning like the crash scene mm -hmm. and he's the only one that survived from the yeah. crash yeah that was a really neat moment too because like he was we were both thinking like maybe you should play dead but then we see that the grunts are shooting the dead bodies to make sure that they're, they're dead, dead. Yeah. and that makes sense because that happens in war mm -hmm. um you would sh shoot dead bodies to make sure they're actually dead because yeah. anyone can be playing dead and shoot you in the back when you're not looking yeah so he was forced to fight his way out mm -hmm. um, and luckily it looked like it was a pretty light uh, Covenant crew. It was only a few grunts and jackals. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any elites or they didn't have any backup because right. they were probably expecting it to be light resistance, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I want to see another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, uh, <laughs> just like you said, repeat. Mm -hmm. If there are other ones, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We want to watch them. And what I, what I think is uh, really interesting about this is I thought this was all going to be in the library. Like, I thought it was just going to yeah, be in the library. Yeah, I thought so too. After, yeah. when, when Master Chief found the corpse, I thought it was going to go back to when he was first teleported to the library. But what's cool is we actually went all the way back to the Pillar of Autumn and shows uh, him and the other Marines who are gearing up. And then when the ship's being bored, they're fighting side by side. And there's some pretty, like, and it's some interesting, like, gore that's been shown. Like, it's pretty gruesome. Like, some guy's getting shot in the face. One guy lost his legs. The, and the medic is, like, frantically running from one guy to the other. Um, and the guy, the they had, like, a turret, and the guy in the turret gets killed. And then the other guy hops on the turret, and that guy gets killed, and it's just, like, pure chaos. Mm -hmm. And then we see uh, the ODSTs show up, which mm -hmm. was also... Yeah, you really like that part. Yeah, I really like that part, because it's, like, we don't see ODSTs in Halo Combat Evolved, but we know they're there because of the and book. And the book. Yeah, yeah, Halo the Flood, um, which is... I really recommend you read the book. Maybe we'll find some way to do, like, a reaction, but I don't know how that would work with the book. <laughs> but... He, he, there's some interesting dynamics between Master Chief and ODSTs. There's actually some uh, bad blood. I would imagine there's a little tension. Tension, yeah. definitely. Uh, the leader of the OD ODSTs in particular. Uh, I think it's like Major Silver or something. I forgot the exact name, but he kind of takes it upon himself to take command of the troops after Keyes' disappearance. Yeah. Uh, oh, disappearance. And he's not, we don't know if he's dead yet or not. But Remember, yeah. he was captured and yeah. then we ended up rescuing him. But yeah. yeah, by the prototype. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Great mind, yeah. yeah. And it's pretty interesting to see um, the hunters as well on board uh, the Pillar of Autumn because so early you, on too. Yeah, because you didn't get you didn't encounter them as Master Chief, luckily. Yeah. Those would have been Not a pain to fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, so with this uh, this guy, mm -hmm. uh, more more Buto, um, or Marvin. Marvin. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Marvin's probably thing, easier. <laughs> same thing. What was going through my mind is I thought we'd see him on level one and then mm -hmm. working his way through down the corridors and through the corridors and or waking up yeah. to uh, level, it to three. level three. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, I was also thinking, how in the world can he do this? Mm -hmm. It's impossible, right? But it made a lot of sense with mm -hmm. um, um, Sparky going in there and, and mm -hmm. teleporting him to his location. Right. Well, Sparky teleported him to the same place Master Chief started, which was the very bottom floor. Which the question that I would like to ask, because I never really thought about it. Well, I thought about it, but I never really like sought out the answer is, why 
didn't Sparky just teleport us directly to the index? Why are you making us start from the bottom floor and working our way up? This poor sergeant guy could have been could have made it out with the index if he had been teleported to it directly, probably. Yeah, let us know what your thoughts on that are. Yeah, if there's uh, you know sort of a, a common uh, uh, you know theme or understanding with how that why he didn't do that yeah because i because it's it is, it oh it sounds like a because he's a genius right <laughs> right ah i am a genius yeah. so i will teleport you in the most inconvenient spot possible Where and make you take the longest route <laughs> make you take the longest route and then encounter as many flood as possible yeah. the only thing i could think of is like some sort of ritualistic thing like you have to you have to trial by fire you have to earn the index <laughs> something yeah <laughs> but yeah um in general i i think that i really enjoyed this one because really well done animation really was, well was done. uh very smooth great use of assets um it looks like there's some custom design assets i wonder if he did like custom modifications because some of these are well a lot of these are not the standard halo combat evolved marine um some and, and you notice that with the odsts as well. yeah like the odsts but also like for example uh this marine he uh marvin he had a like a mask around his face you don't see any marines with masks across their faces in halo combat evolved um and there's some other uh details as well mm -hmm. But yeah, and also what I also picked up on was he had some custom like voice acting. It looks like for a Sparky, mm -hmm. some uh, the message towards the end was taken directly from the game because it was the exact same message that was said to Chief, mm -hmm. but it was repeated. Mm -hmm. But some of these other lines were from the book, but never said in the game, mm -hmm. which means he had to recreate Sparky's voice. The voice. And yeah. same thing with Master Chief, because Master Chief's voice um, was not included in that one quote where he where he said it to the body mm -hmm. like you're you were yeah, one because it was from the book mm -hmm. but not in the game yeah so i'm wondering how he did the voice acting for those did he just find something similar using ai there's lots of there's lots of tools nowadays you can do it with but in general i think it's really cool i like that he mentioned that he developed this in blender Blender. because yeah. that gives me ideas of like if i ever wanted to make an animation what i should use mm -hmm. um i i've heard if any of you guys uh, are animation experts let us know um what was better for Halo animations is it Blender or SFM, uh, Source Filmmaker, I believe. Because I, I, I want to get into animations eventually too, but of course it takes a lot of time and effort. But <laughs> now that I see this was made in Blender, it's like another idea. I'm cr currently I'm leaning towards SFM, but I know that Blender is also a really big tool, especially for 3D models and designs and whatnot. Yeah, this guy did an outstanding job, like you're saying, using all the different assets, like the sound as well, the oh, music, yeah. uh, the, the level of, um, uh, intensity with the music and then mm -hmm. it's sad and soft in, in the beginning you see it pick up it gets louder it gets softer as the fighting is going on in the quarters yeah <laughs> yeah um and i would imagine blender or uh, sfm mm -hmm. would tie into even how you use the auditory uh, special effects right yeah yeah i, I think you, in some uh, animation programs you can do like spatial sound like 3d spatial sound and whatnot um but in general uh the songs he used, I think I noticed, I recognized every single one. They're all music tracks from the Halo games. Um, so it's pretty cool how you, to see how he picked and cho chose certain ones for certain scenes. Mm -hmm. so, but with that being said, we hope you guys enjoy watching this with us. Let us know if this was your first time seeing this as well, or if you already uh, saw this animation. Let us know if there's any other cool animations for us to check out. And in order to stay tuned, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon to stay updated on future videos. And with that being said, have a great rest of your week. Stay tuned, you will see us soon. All right, guys, take care.